welcome to my channel code view and talk today in this video i'll be discussing very important questions which asked in the interview and many of you have asked me to make video on this topic which is scenario based questions for spring boot so whenever i talk with anybody they ask me like how do we answer these scenario based questions and what are those scenario based questions so today i'll be discussing all the scenario based questions related to spring boot so watch the video till end so that you know like what type of scenario based questions can be asked in the interview this video is going to be very interesting so let's continue i will discuss all the questions one by one so here you can see on my screen the first question is basic application set the first question is basic application setup so you may ask like this you are tasked with creating a spring boot application for library management system and the application should expose rest api to manage book and authors so what will be the questions questions can be like how would you set up the project structure which spring boot dependency would you include in your pom.xml or build.gradle depending upon like what type of project you are working whether it is a maven project or a gradle project so then you have to answer like what will you do so you can think of like you will be creating a spring boot project where you will be adding different dependency like web dependency for the database for the jp and other things so all those things you can tell your answer here so i am not going to discuss the answer in very detail here because that will make the video very long so i'll just discussing the questions if you want me to make video on the solution of this scenario based questions let me in know in the comment section i can make video on that as well so next question is rest api development so here the scenario is like you need to create a rest api to fetch a list of book by a specific author so the question will be how would you design the controller service repository layer for this functionality provide an example of the endpoints and its implementation next which is question number 3 is database integration so the scenario here is the library system needs to store book and author detail in a relational database and the question will be like how would you configure spring boot to connect to a mysql database what annotation would you use to map the book and author entities then next question is related to error handling the scenario will be like a user tries to fetch details of a book that does not exist in the database and the question will be how would you handle this scenario gracefully and return an appropriate http status code and error message next will be related to security like we know like we need to secure our api so that it requires any type of security when anybody is trying to use our api exposed so you need to secure your library management system so that only authenticated users can access the api so how would you implement authentication and authorization in your spring boot application what configurations would you add to secure the endpoints so this is related to the authentication and authorization every project you work these two topics are very important and every project will have this authentication and authorization so you should understand like what is difference between authentication and authorization both are different topics so if you want me to explain these topics you can let me know in the comment section i can make a separate video on authentication and authorization and let's move to the next questions so next question is related to spring boot profiles so the here scenario is the application needs to run in different environment like development testing and production with different database configuration so we know like when you work with the real time data when you work with real time project 
we have a multiple environment configured for development testing and prod so the question is how would you use spring boot profile to manage environment specific configuration then question number seven is related to caching the scenario here is the api to fetch book details is frequently called and you want to improve its performance by catching the result so the question is how would you implement catching in your spring boot application which annotations and configuration would you use so there are multiple uh, catching available you can implement any one of them depending upon your use case and you can use this catching for the frequently called apis so that you don't your apis will be not called every time from the database when you have a catch implemented it will just return the result from the catch if it is not available in the cache then the api will be called to the database next is asynchronous processing so the scenario is you need to send an email notification to users when a new book is added but this process should not block the main thread so you know like some of the operations which you do are not dependent so we don't want our main thread to be blocked so we use asynchronous processing so that our main thread is not blocked and our uh, operations would also be performed so how would you implement asynchronous processing in spring boot for this use case so these are the very important scenario based questions which you can look upon when you are going to prepare for the interview uh, you might ask questions related like this and next is the testing so scenario here is you want to write unit test for the service layer and integration test for the rest apis so how would you set up testing in your spring boot application which testing framework and annotation would you use so you know look how, you know like how much important is the testing when you developed any of the application functionality you need to be doing it unit testing or integration testing for the checking whether your written is correct or not and the question number 10 is related to exception handling so the scenario here is a database constant validation occurs when trying to add a duplicate book entry so the question is how would you handle this exception and return a meaningful response to the client so again this is very important when we come to the uh, exception handling so how would you return a meaningful response to the client so that uh, even client know like what the actual error is rather than returning a standard error which is thrown by spring boot so i have already made a video you can go and check out my check out on my channel like how do we customize our exception response so you can check that video and see for the solution for these questions next is related to the monitoring of the application which is spring boot actuator so the scenario here is the operations team wants to monitor the health and metrics of the application and the question is like how would you enable and configure a spring boot actuator to expose health and metrics endpoints so you know like actuator is provided by the spring boot which help helps us in monitoring our health and metrics of the application so how would you configure that uh, like you will be adding the dependency for the actuator and then some configuration your application dot properties uh, to expose all the api provided by this actuator dependency for the monitoring of the application like health apis and similarly like others then question number 12 is related to file upload and download so the scenario here is the application needs to allow users to upload and download book cover images so how would you implement the file upload and download functionality in a spring boot so like these are very real time scenario based questions when you work with any of the project you might come across this scenario and you need to implement for that so look into this scenario based questions definitely it is going to be asked in the interview 
and if you are not aware of it you will not be able to give the answer for this next is related to microservices communication uh, today in this industry all the applications which are being built is on on the microservices so it's very important and very crucial questions wherever you go this question will be definitely asked like how do you communicate with between microservices so the here scenario is the library system is part of a microservices architecture and it needs to communicate with a user management system to fetch user details so the question is how would you implement inter service communication using a spring boot would you use rest fain or another approach so try to make two microservices try to communicate between each other if you want me to make video on this let me know in the comment section i'll make a video for this as well question number 14 is related to scheduler you need to implement a scheduled task that runs every day at midnight to achieve old book records so here the scenario is uh, you want something to be run every day at midnight so how will you do that operation so scheduler is the solution like you will be writing a scheduler and that will run every uh, time when when you will be configuring that so how would you implement this functionality in spring boot is the question so you need to write a scheduler uh, you can check i can make a video on this as well then question number 15 which is related to custom annotations we know like spring boot provides so many built in annotations which help us to make our development faster and configuration easier but let's say you want to create your own annotations then how will you do that so here scenario is you want to create a custom annotations to validate that the book publication date is not in the future so how would you create and use a custom annotation for this validation so you can create your custom annot annotation in spring boot you just need to write few classes and few customized logic in order to make your own custom annotations so this is the last questions here for the scenario based uh, these 15 questions which i have discussed so far in video is very real time problem when you work with any of the application you might come across uh, these scenario based questions here i have taken a library management but this can be uh related to this can be related to any of the project the scenario will be same you can just analyze the scenario and then give the answer so this is for the library management you may ask for some other project but uh, the functionality will be but the functionality will be the same it just that the project name is different so these are the questions which i came across and i thought that this might help to the people who are preparing for the interview especially java backend developer or spring boot uh, developers so you must go through these scenario based questions before going to attend any of the interview and i will be also making video on this scenario based questions so you if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe to it so that you don't miss the solution or any of the video which i upload related to the interview or uh, any other video which might help you when you are going to prepare for the interview so don't forget to subscribe if you liked my video give thumbs up give comment if you want anything to improve or you want me to make video on any of other topic let me know in the comment section thank you for watching i will see you in the next video